Blockchain is a type of ledger technology that stores and records data. Blockchain is the buzzword that seems to dominate any conversation about the future of technology, from the power of cryptocurrencies to new forms of cybersecurity. While the applications for blockchain technology seem endless, not many people are entirely sure what it is. In the old days, transactions were tracked in written ledgers and stored in financial institutions. Traditional ledgers could be audited, but only by those with privileged access. Blockchain took these concepts and democratized them by removing the secrecy around how information, namely transaction data, was handled. In its simplest form, a blockchain is a distributed list of transactions that is constantly updated and reviewed. Also known as Distributed Ledger Technology, DLT, it can be programmed to record and track anything of value across a network spread around multiple locations and entities. This creates a sort of worldwide spider web of connected computers. While often associated with cryptocurrencies, blockchain technology is not exclusive to the digital asset market. Thanks to its unique ability to add and store data, it can serve many other functions across a range of industries. What does a blockchain look like? A blockchain can be broken down into two components, the block and the chain. A block is a collection of data that is linked to other blocks chronologically in a virtual chain. You can think of a blockchain as a train consisting of multiple carriages connected in a line, where each carriage contains an amount of data. Just like with passengers in a real-life train carriage, blocks can fit only a certain amount of data before they're full. Each block also contains a timestamp, and so it's clear when the data was recorded and stored, something that's vital for things like transaction or supply chain data where knowing exactly when a payment or package was processed is important. How many copies are there? There is not a single master copy of a blockchain. Instead, every person who runs a computer that contributes to the network, also known as a node, maintains their own copy of the blockchain, and constantly checks with other nodes to make sure everyone has the same record of data. By having each individual contributor store their own copy, it means there is no single point of failure. This impressive layer of security also means it's virtually impossible for malicious agents to tamper with the data stored on blockchains. If a hacker group wanted to manipulate any transaction on a blockchain, they would have to break into the device of every single network contributor around the world and change all records to show the same thing. Unlike a database of financial records stored by traditional institutions, the blockchain is completely transparent and aims to be distributed, shared across networks, and in many cases, fully public. By prioritizing transparency around transactions and how the information is stored, the blockchain can act as a single source of truth. How is data added to a blockchain? Beyond being transparent with data, the blockchain is also a secure way to store it. Using Bitcoin as an example, here's how a transaction is added to a new block. When a Bitcoin user sends a transaction, a message is created with both the sender's and the receiver's public addresses and the amount being transacted. The sender takes this data, adds their private key to the mix and then creates a hash of it, turns it into a fixed-length code. This creates a digital signature to confirm the person who owns the amount of Bitcoin intends to send it to the receiver. The package transaction joins a waiting room filled with other unconfirmed transactions looking to be added to the blockchain, known as a mempool. In the case of the Bitcoin network, miners who have successfully discovered new blocks through proof-of-work then take a batch of transactions from the mempool, usually based on which ones have the highest fees attached, verify each transaction to make sure each sender actually has the amount of Bitcoin in their wallets they want to send, run it through software to make sure the package data, digital signatures, messages and public keys, are legitimate, add it to the new block and finally, broadcast the proposed new block to the network so that other miners can double-check everything is correct. This is similar to the process used in proof-of-stake blockchains, except instead of mining nodes discovering and verifying transactions, users who have locked away an amount of cryptocurrency, known as stackers or validators, carry out the process. Nodes can perform a variety of tasks. These include keeping a historical record of all transaction data, 
verifying transactions, and, in the case of mining nodes or validator nodes, adding new blocks to the blockchain. Once a transaction has been approved and added, the information cannot be altered or rewritten. That is why data stored on a blockchain network is described as immutable. As described in Blockchain for Dummies, blockchain owes its name to the way it stores transaction data, in blocks linked together to form a chain. As the number of transactions grows, so does the blockchain. Blocks record and confirm the time and sequence of transactions, which are then logged into the blockchain, within a discrete network governed by rules agreed to by the network participants. Each block contains a hash, a digital fingerprint or unique identifier, time-stamped batches of recent valid transactions, and the hash of the previous block. The previous block hash links the blocks together and prevents any block from being altered or a block being inserted between two existing blocks. In theory, the method renders the blockchain tamper-proof. The four key concepts behind blockchain are Shared ledger a shared ledger is an append-only distributed system of record shared across a business network. With a shared ledger, transactions are recorded only once, eliminating the duplication of effort that's typical of traditional business networks. Permissions Permissions ensure that transactions are secure, authenticated, and verifiable. With the ability to constrain network participation, organizations can more easily comply with data protection regulations, such as those stipulated in the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, HIPAA, and the EU General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR. Smart Contracts A smart contract is an agreement or set of rules that govern a business transaction, it's stored on the blockchain and is executed automatically as part of a transaction. Consensus through consensus, all parties agree to the network verified transaction. Blockchains have various consensus mechanisms, including proof of stake, multi signature, and PBFT, practical Byzantine fault tolerance. Each blockchain network has various participants who play these roles, among others. Blockchain users Participants, typically business users, with permissions to join the blockchain network and conduct transactions with other network participants. Regulators Blockchain users with special permissions to oversee the transactions happening within the network. Blockchain network operators Individuals who have special permissions and authority to define, create, manage, and monitor the blockchain network. Certificate authorities Individuals who issue and manage the different types of certificates required to run a permissioned blockchain.